In this video, we'll learn how to use the Path Builder tool to create custom shapes. The Path Builder tool is located under the Shape tool right here, and it is used for creating shapes out of a collection of other shapes. I'll demonstrate. I'm going to select these shapes that I have here. Now I have, simply have a collection of lines and a circle. With these shapes selected, I'm going to activate the Path Builder tool. Now I can create anything I want to out of these shapes based on where they interact or where they touch. For instance, let's say I wanted to create this line right here, this shape right here from here, up here, and over here. I can do so by selecting this pencil here and manually selecting the lines that I want to include in my result. Then from here, I can activate the selection tool and this line will replace everything that I have here. Or if I want to just create this line shape, this curvature here, and keep everything, I can come over here to the Path Builder tool properties and decide how I want to place my result. Right now, it's set to replace all, which means it's going to replace everything on the canvas or everything that you have selected in this Path Builder tool process. I can change this to replace none, which means it's not going to replace anything. So if I activate another tool, this shape that I've created is going to be here along with everything else that was activated with this Path Builder tool. I can use choose replace top, which means that the tool that is top in the hierarchy is the only thing that gets replaced. And then I can set to cut out, which is useful if you're creating a closed shape. Like for instance, if I wanted to create, highlight these, and then I select another tool, it will basically cut that resulting shape out of everything that's left over. So I'm going to select replace none because this is the only shape that I want. And I'm going to select the selection tool and voila, I have my shape. Now it's colored in, which is why it looks like that. If I change the alpha channel, go to the fill color and change the alpha channel all the way down to zero. Now I have my shape here. Okay. Now let's do it again. Let's create a closed shape this time. This is an open path. Let's create a closed path. So I'm gonna select everything and then I'm gonna activate the path builder tool again. And I want to get here, down to here, and then through here. So let's do it. Let's come here, down to here, and through here. Now, I just released and everything turned blue. That's, that means that the shape that it created is now closed. So with everything set to replace none, I'm going to activate the selection tool. And here I have my closed shape. Let's do it again. I'm gonna select everything and activate the path builder tool. And you notice the last time I created this shape, I was basically like doing this here and I'm kind of not touching anything, but it's automatically knowing which lines to select. That's because I have sculpt mode activated and sculpt mode allows that. So if you have sculpt mode on and you do not have the pencil selected, which is join mode or the eraser activated, then it's going to find, try and find the lines that are closest to where you're touching or where your mouse cursor is at and select those lines. Now, if I, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna erase everything that I've selected, okay? And then I can come in here and use the pencil and manually select what I want. And this is preferred in most cases. Okay, and it found a closed path and it closed it, okay? 
and and it's like drawing. Okay, this is a this 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 is what makes the path builder tool different from other tools like it, like the shape builder tool, the Adobe Illustrator, and um, the Fusion tool with Amadine and Linearity Curve. Everyone has their own version of that tool. This tool is different. It allows it's more of a manual approach, more of a drawing approach. So I can erase and then come here and then select these. Okay, gives you more control over the shapes or the over over the shape that you're creating. Now the next thing I'm going to come over here. I'm going to erase everything again. Is the next thing you could do with this tool is you can color as you create. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select a random color. Let's choose a random color palette. There we go. And I'm going to select a color. I'm going to select blue with the path builder tool activated. Okay. Let's tap off of the eraser and then let's come in here and create a shape. When I release, it's going to be the color that I selected. I'm going to select orange. I'm going to do the same thing here. Boom. Select the selection tool. And now I have my shapes in their color. Now, another interesting thing that this tool can do is it allows you to create shapes from individual shapes. So for instance, and I use this mode a lot, but let's say you wanted to basically cut out, use one shape to cut out other shapes. So I'll demonstrate. I'm going to select this line and then I'm going to activate the path builder tool. Now what just happened is because this line is intersecting with this line and this circle and this line, they all got included into this path builder tool operation. But the difference is that the only shape that gets replaced is the shape that got selected. So if I come here to the path builder tool properties, and I'm going to select replace all. And now because this is selected, I can start drawing out my shape. So I'm going to select a color. Let's go with green this time and start drawing out the shape I want. Now you see it did not include this line right here. Okay, it only included this one and the circle and itself. That's why it didn't catch this. Okay, so like I said, under certain circumstances, you would use this. So I'm going to do it again, activate the path builder tool. So I'm just going to select the lines that I know that it's going to grab. So I got this one here and this one here. So now I got my new shapes, and not, now only that line disappeared. That that feature is very useful, again, under certain circumstances. But that is it. That is the Path Builder tool in a nutshell and how to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like this video and subscribe to the channel for, no for more Vector Inc. news and updates and tutorials. And till next time, I will see you guys later.